Welcome back to East Texas now on the weekends. We are joined with quite a legend, if I do say so myself. Scotty McCreary is with us right now. How are you doing today? Hey, I'm doing well. How about yourself? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I heard you have a pretty big weekend planned for right now. Can you tell me a little bit about what you're uh, planning on doing specifically tonight? <laughs> yeah, we just made it down here to uh, we're in Lufkin, Texas and uh, coming down here support the east texas food bank and got a big old show should be packed tonight a lot of fun uh, my buddies you know travis denning and uh, be a lot a lot of folks out here so we're excited and i heard it's pretty packed uh you and your wife gabby welcomed your first child a boy named avery and they're both with you tonight what's it like traveling with the entire family yeah it's really fun this is actually our first night doing the uh uh, bringing them both out on the bus, the new bus for the uh, the baby, and he's got his own um, little crib kind of set up in the in the bunk area on the bus, and we were nervous just kind of how he would uh, how he would sleep, but he did really well last night, slept till six a.m. So we'll take it. I mean, I feel like that's pretty standard with kids and moving cars, especially on a big tool bus. Tool bus, a big, big tour bus, kind of rocks them to sleep a little bit. But let's get into the show. Now, it's a sold out show in Lufkin, benefiting the East Texas Food Bank. Can you tell me a little bit about what an organization such as this means to you? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, I think anytime, you know, we can combine having a good time with country music and helping out a local community, uh, I love to jump at that kind of opportunity. So um, we'll be here tonight, you know, a bunch of Texans coming in tonight to support their community as well. And um, everybody's going to have fun. And, and I know we will on stage and it's going to be fun to see people out there, sold out crowds, smiling, dancing, singing. So uh, I can't wait. It sounds like it's going to be an amazing show tonight. And just to get a little bit more into the entertainment, I mean, you're a singer songwriter. You're very well known. Um, I told some of my friends, I was like, yeah, I have an interview with Scotty McCreary coming up. I'm really excited for it. Fangirls immediately. I was like, oh no, <laughs> now I'm nervous. Um, oh wow. Let's get into a little bit about your recent single. Now it matters to her. You co-wrote this with Red Atkins and Lee Thomas Miller. It's number 17 and it's rising and so far it's your fastest rising single to date. Do you think that this is because of the collaborations that you were able to have? Yeah, you know, I think anytime you can write with folks like that, you know, it's huge. Um, obviously, Lee Miller is an incredible writer and Red as well and, and Red having his success in the 90s and then his son Thomas Rhett's doing okay too so uh, anytime you can write with folks like that it's uh, it's always a good time and matters to her it's just kind of a song for me about you know what I've learned in my, in my few years of being married to be you know what matters to her and it's how normally it's the little things that kind of make the biggest difference so um, it's where the song's all about and it's fun to see it climbing the charts so fast for sure. And did you grow up kind of surrounding yourself with uh, artists and writers such as uh, Rhett and Lee Thomas. I mean, I know they were pretty big. I, growing up in Texas, my family, we it was a constant talk in our household, what we were listening to in the truck on the way to school, what we were listening to in the Deer Lease. Like, I grew up listening to that, and it still means so much to me. Is it the same with you? Yeah, you know, for, for sure. I think country music, I mean, I was born and raised in North Carolina, and, and to us, you know, it was still huge. It's all we listened to. So um, it was definitely, you know, Rhett and That Ain't My Truck was, you know, all over our radio and folks like Brooks and Dunn and uh, George Strait. I mean, you name it. I mean, I, I was probably listening to them. So it's fun now to be able to work with them, too. And you grew up in North Carolina, but country music, in my opinion, doesn't matter where you're from. It is country music is here to stay no matter what state. But is it different crowd wise and kind of the crowds you play to? Do they seem a little different based on Texas versus North Carolina? I mean, yeah, Texas is it, it's a different animal, I feel like, especially <laughs> when you're singing country music. Uh, folks are there, they're there to have a good time, they know all the words, um, and they know their country music. So I feel like we can play my stuff or we can pull stuff out of out of the hat and play some cover songs from from artists that that i grew up listening to and i feel like that that always goes over well here too too so we love coming to texas uh it's definitely a place we visit often when we can which warms my heart to hear i mean i grew up going to country car concerts with my family and i just remember i mean everyone's dancing even if there's not a dance floor that's just the standard someone's going to be two-step and half-step and whatever it may be it's 
that <laughs> Texas country concert is just one of my favorite things. Is there anything else that uh, you want our audience, our viewers to know about this little short visit that you're having to the Lone Star State? Oh, well, I mean, appreciate everybody coming out. I mean, selling a place out is always, it makes for a great night. So hopefully we can come back and see everybody else. And um, I know we'll be coming back this summer with Brooks and Dunn. So y'all come check us out and uh, it'll be a, uh, be a fun time tonight and a fun time then. Well, we are so excited to have you, even if it's just for one show, but we're excited for you to come back as well. That's all the questions I had. Is If there's anything else you'd like to add, I think we're good. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you having me. Thanks for giving me a chance to uh, chat about the show and the East Texas Food Bank, and uh, it's great chatting with you as well. Yeah, of course. Thank you so much. I hope the uh, tour bus trick to go to sleep keeps going for the... <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Fingers crossed. All righty. Thank you so much. You have a great day. Thank you. You too. All righty. Once again, that was uh, country singer-songwriter Scott McCreary out with us. He will be at, in Lufkin tonight at the uh, Good for Country concert. It's going to be benefiting the East Texas Food Bank, but is also sponsored by Eubank. So make sure uh, you go out if you can. It's sold out right now. Uh, but he is going to be coming back with Brooks and Dunn later on in the summer, so we will definitely be looking forward to that. Maybe we can get him back on the show uh, sometime soon for that as well.